Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if this is the first time that you're here. Today we have got just a super quick snappy product focus video. The product in question is a lipstick. It's from Gucci. It's one of their matte lipsticks in the shade Peggy Tote. This is part of the permanent lineup. It's not a limited edition lipstick or anything like that. Usually if I do these lipstick videos where I do swatches and comparisons and tell you about a specific lipstick, it's generally because it's either a new release or it's something limited edition. This is neither, but I don't feel that there's a lot of content out there about Gucci Beauty and it's certainly one of the brands that excites me the most at the moment in the beauty sphere so just thought maybe it would be nice to put a little bit more out there. If you are a fan of Gucci Beauty I have done another Gucci Beauty lipstick video focused on the they met in Argentina looking specifically at the new lipstick the gorgeous flora one in the Rouge de Beauty Brilliant formula but I did compare it against the matte as well so if you're interested in the matte or the new formula of that I will link that video up in the eye for you to go and check out. I also, around the same time, did a video on the new eyeshadow palette, compared it to the original Gucci eyeshadow palette. If you want to see swatches of either palette, both in that video, and I will link that one up in the eye as well. Today we're talking about Peggy Taupe, so let's get on into it. <laughs> First of all, outer packaging. The matte lipsticks come with this gold linear design. All the Gucci packaging is absolutely beautiful, kind of goes without saying. This is probably my, not my least favourite, my least favourite is probably the Rouge de Beauté Brilliant line with the black packaging. My favourite is definitely the satin formula that has the beautiful etching sort of art deco into the side and I love the wow formula packaging as well with the florals so this is not near the top of my favourites but it is lovely. It's Gucci, it's gold. It's very, very pretty. I don't think we can really knock it. Onto the product itself. Gucci described Peggy Taupe as a taupe rosewood, and I think that's quite an accurate colour. I would say there's a little bit more mauve in it than I had sort of expected there to be. I will admit that I was purely intrigued in this one, first of all, based on the name, because I love Peggy Carter slash Hayley Atwell absolutely adore her so the name definitely drew me in to start off with but I actually think the shade is super beautiful. I'm going to insert cutaways of me applying it. First of all I'm just going to dab it on and then smudge it out with my finger so that you can see how it looks. Just a really really thin layer it just gives a hint of definition I think if you look at my lip colour with nothing on it and then this just tapped on I feel like it's basically a My Lips but better shade when it's like that, when it's really lightly blurred out. It gives a bit of definition, a bit of life, but it's not overpowering in any way, shape or form. It's a super natural looking lipstick. Absolutely adore it like that. And then the second way that I'm going to show you is it built up. So properly applied straight from the bullet into its full formula so that you can see the colour when it's actually built up. I love it both ways. In terms of the formula, the Gucci matte formula is honestly, hands down, the most comfortable matte formula, I think, across the board. It doesn't dry my lips out, but it also doesn't move. Generally, I tend to like a matte lip that most people would find quite drying because I've got quite small lips and I must be quite expressive with my mouth when I talk as well, which probably doesn't help anything. But particularly the corners of my mouth are very, very small. If I just stop, smile and don't move my mouth, you'll see my lips almost disappear at the side. So I tend to find particularly at the side it's like product. If there's any slip to it in any movement gets smooshed about, moves about, smears on my face and it can just be a messy disaster particularly if we're looking at you know like a deep red or something like that. So I do tend to err on the side of caution going for matte formulas so I've tried I think the matte formula from pretty much every brand and this is definitely the most comfortable in the lips. It does not dry them out, the formula stays in place, it wears off really evenly but despite the fact that it's comfortable it doesn't smoosh about either. There's no slip, there's no movement, it stays where you put it and 
I absolutely love the formula of this basically. If you've got a sort of small or maybe oddly shaped or overly expressive mouth like me and you find that your lipstick ends up, you know, on your teeth, on your cheeks, places that you did not want it to be, the Gucci matte formula, well worth checking out. So having shown you the product on and talked about the formula and why I love it so much, the last thing I like to do in these videos is just swatch the product so that you can see it on skin. So I am very, very pale. For reference, I am a zero in Charlotte Tilbury, a number two in Lisa Eldridge's foundation. Estee Lauder Alabaster is a little bit too starkly white for me, but Shell goes a bit too pink. At the moment, foundation-wise, I am wearing the L'Oreal Infallible in the shade 15 Porcelain. So I've just got that on really quite sheer. If I build this up, it can be a little bit too dark for me, but I think it's, it's blending well with the neck at the moment, having used a buffing brush to buff it out. So that is my skin tone that I'm swatching on top of. So there's one swipe, bring that closer, two, three. I mean you pretty much had to fill from two. So that is what Peggy Taupe looks like swatched. Given this is so close to being a My Lips but better shade, you might have thought I would own loads of dupes for this in my collection that I could recommend to you if you don't want to splurge out on the Gucci one because obviously the Gucci lipsticks, the Gucci makeup in general, it is a high price point and you are partly paying for the packaging and the fact it's Gucci. I think it's always important to acknowledge that. The formula is beautiful. As I said, it's, it's my favourite matte formula that I have used so far, but that does not mean there's not great products at lower price points. I think it's so important to just keep things in perspective and acknowledge that you never need to pay this kind of money. That aside, despite the fact that the colour is so kind of neutral and so suited to me, I feel personally, I actually couldn't dupe it within my collection in terms of lipsticks. So the two that I've brought to swatch next to it, just to give you some reference, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, this is the Matte Revolution formula, that formula that's the sort of squared off bullet. This was a limited edition one, so I don't know how many of you will have this, but it's from the MAC Aladdin collection and it's the shade Princess Incognito. Neither of these are dupes, but this one in particular, I thought it was going to be a dupe, I thought it was going to be very similar, and I think this is one that a lot of people will own, so I'm going to swatch these next to it just to give you a little bit of perspective, maybe be able to put it into place within your own collection. So first of all, here is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Revolution Formula. So they are definitely similar, but they're absolutely not dupes for one another. The Peggy Taupe is a little bit deeper. It's a bit more rosewood. The Charlotte Tilbury has almost got a bit more peach to it. Definitely similar, definitely related, but not dupes. And then MAC Princess Incognito. That's probably more similar, but as I said, limited edition product, so I don't know how many of you will have it. But again, not an exact dupe. But these were definitely the closest in the lipstick collection that I have that I could find to Peggy Taupe. However, a lipstick that I don't have that I do think will be a possible dupe is MAC Soar. And the reason for that is because I have the MAC Soar lip liner, so I don't have the lipstick. And I am presuming, this is not a guaranteed thing, so I have to say I am making this presumption that MAC Soar lipstick and MAC Soar lip liner will be the same colour. Now I have definitely had it that I bought lipsticks and lip liners to match each other that have the same name, that have not been the same. Absolutely drives me up the wall. If I wanted like a darker lip liner, I would buy a darker lip liner to go for the contrast look. Surely if you're buying two things with the same name, you want them to, to match, but let's not get into that rant. MAC Soar lip liner is pretty much spot on to this colour. So although I don't have the lipstick, if you have MAC Soar, it suggests to me that that would be a dupe. First of all, I will swatch it and just show you how similar the two are. Can you see that if I blend that into that? They are so, so close. As you saw in the demonstration cutaways, I applied the lipstick with no liner, just so you could see the true colour of it. I did then go in and line my lips with Maxor afterwards, so I will insert that so you can see just how easily that blended in.
some people obviously are quite happy to wear a lip liner all over the lips so I do think it's always worth flagging if lip liners are dupes so sore definitely definitely super super similar and then the other two that you may own just to again put it into perspective not dupes but definitely related. Once again we're going to Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and then MAC Dervish is also in the ballpark. That is Pillow Talk and Dervish. Now Dervish is a little bit lighter and a little bit pinkier. It's funny because I actually thought at first Dervish was possibly closer, but it's not. It's definitely sore that's actually the exact match. So that is everything for this video. I hope it's been helpful if you are considering this shade. I would 100% recommend it. I love the colour. I love the formula. As I said, price point is really high. Absolutely no need to pay that kind of price. MAC Sore does seem to be a dupe and although MAC lipsticks are around the £20 mark, I know they're not like a drugstore price, but the Gucci lipsticks are £36 I believe now, so the MAC one's still considerably cheaper. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful and I will see you in my next one. Bye!